Hello everyone, this is Icona Kona, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about helicopters in Battlefield 3, giving you some tips and tricks on how to be a better pilot with these helicopters. Now, what you only see in this video is me using these little attack helicopters, like the AH-6 Little Bird here. These attack helicopters, I think they're pretty good, they're pretty mobile. You don't need a gunner because you are the pilot and the gunner, and that's what I kind of like about these helicopters, is that you can you can fly these, but you can also shoot the guns you want, you know, these, these machine guns, and I think the machine guns are a super effective weapon against infantry. You have a huge advantage over infantry. With the regular attack helicopters, you basically have a gunner, but you're stuck with rockets, basically. It's kind of It kind of sucks sometimes where you just want to gun down people with a machine gun, but you can't. You have to leave that up to your gunner. And uh, so I, I like playing with these little birds because I get to shoot the machine gun. And I think the machine gun, like I said, is a great weapon for taking out infantry and light vehicles. You can see here that I'm taking these guys out. Now, just like jets, you're going to have to understand a little bit about how helicopters move around, the dynamics of a helicopter, because if you don't understand that, the controls might be a little funky to you, kind of like in jets. If you don't understand the controls or the dynamics of how these things move, you're not going to be able to control them very well. Now, with helicopters, they remember, they are not jets. They have these weird degrees of motion that allow them to do these crazy stuff that I think helicopters are great for but sometimes can get you in some trouble. Now helicopters do have a throttle up and throttle down command but they don't work like jets. It doesn't make you move faster, it actually makes you go up or down. So if you throttle up, you know, if you're, if you're perfectly level and you just hit the throttle and you throttle up, you're gonna go up, straight up. If you, you know, throttle down, you're going to go straight down. What makes you go forward in a helicopter is tilting. You'll notice that, you know, if you're getting a little motion sickness, I don't blame you. But in a helicopter, what makes you move around is going to be the tilting of the helicopter. So if you want to go forward in a helicopter, first you go up to the height that you want to. And then when you want to go forward, you tilt forward. Basically, you're tilting the rotor forward, and that makes the whole helicopter move forward. And what's cool is that this works for any direction, which means you can make the helicopter go backwards just by looking, just pointing your nose up, right? When you point your nose up, that'll cause you to go backwards. It's kind of a weird thing to do at first, but if you're new to helicopters, what I recommend is you go find an empty server or an almost empty server, try to get into a helicopter, and just try to fly around. Just like the jets, you're not going to get you know, really good overnight. This took me a while to get good at, by the way. And you can see here, I'm just still crashing. But yeah, if you want to practice, go ahead, find a small server, and just try and fly around. Don't be embarrassed about crashing. Like I said before, you shouldn't be embarrassed about being a noob, because everyone starts off as a noob. Go ahead, try it out, and see if you can get better at flying. You know, go slow at first so you understand the dynamics of the helicopter. And once you kind of get the controls, then you'll start to go a little bit faster and start to do these really cool maneuvers like this, you know, like a side strafing run. Now, again, one of these things about these helicopters is because of the dynamics of it, you know, you can actually tilt sideways and, and shoot at the same time, which is so cool. Keep your nose pointed at the enemy, but just circle the enemy around. Now here I'm hovering a little bit low because I'm trying to avoid SAM missiles, surface to air missiles, and the enemy team will probably have a whole bunch of these once the helicopter goes up in the air. So dealing with these SAM missiles can be tough at times. What I recommend is that you, you earn your way up to, oh look at this, triple kill right here. Guys grouping up, not good. <laughs> oh man, turkey shoot. But yeah, uh, what I recommend is that you work your way up to the flares, and once you earn the flares unlock, uh, you'll start to learn how to use them more effectively. The thing is, when the enemy locks onto you, you're going to hear a beeping tone. And that lets you know that the enemy is trying to lock onto you. Once that beeping becomes a solid, continuous tone, that means he has a good lock on you. Now, you're going you're gonna to hear it go from a continuous tone to like a louder, continuous tone. That means the missile is in the air and on its way to you. And the thing is, when you were using the flares, and this applies for jets as well, you should wait for the rocket to, or the uh, the SAM missile to lock onto you. I know it's kind of scary, but you don't want to actually pop your flares too early. If you pop it too early, you are now left in the air with no defenses. And so, what you should, what I recommend, is that you should 
let them lock onto you. Let them lock onto you and actually fire at you. Once they fire at you, then you deploy your flares. The flares are going to deploy, it's going to miss, and now you're going to they're going to have to reload and you're going to have to reload your flares and so it's kind of like a continuous thing, you know, like, you know, they shoot, you pop your flares, they have to reload, I reload, they shoot again, I pop my flares again, that kind of thing. So that's what I recommend with using flares. And it can be kind of difficult at times to learn to kind of, you know, have yourself being locked on too. I bet I know it's scary. At times, I will admit, <laughs> when I started off, I let people lock onto me and I just crashed because I just panicked. I just panicked because I was like, uh oh, there's this alarm going on in the cockpit and I'm I'm just like panicking and I crashed a helicopter without them even doing anything except locking on. They didn't have to shoot me down or anything like that. So yeah, um, if you get the flares, I recommend let them lock on to you. Wait until the missile is in the air. Once the missile is in the air, pop your flares, and you are safe, and you're good to go. Also, it's good to learn how to fly relatively low, because when you're lower, you can avoid getting locked on to, and you can you know, try and flank the enemy from different angles when you're low. They won't see you coming from different angles. Now, when you're in the helicopter, you not only want to be aware of the infantry on the ground, but also you want to be aware of the enemy air vehicles. Now, in this map, this is a rush map, and the enemy actually has two helicopters. We actually stole one of theirs. We stole their attack helicopter. But they have a transport helicopter right here, and it's kind of my job to take care of them. Since I have these uh, these air-to-air -air missiles I can use that lock on, I use them to take out that helicopter so that they can't use it against us. And so you can see here that they're all bailing out. By the way, watch this shot. This is awesome. I didn't think I would get this shot. Guy on the parachute. Boom! Mid-shot on the parachute. He's gone. <laughs> that was a pretty good kill. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to take out enemy air vehicles as much as I can because I don't want them to be a threat. Once the area is, once the air is clear, it's called, I guess it's called air superiority in real life. Once you have control of the skies, it's a lot easier to get the guys on the ground. Even though if they have SAM missiles, you still can try and take them out because you have control of the air. Now here, I'm just trying to flank these guys and I actually do a pretty good strafing run, but I'm not paying attention and get myself clipped and I crash, so what a fail. <laughs> So I hope you guys learned a few things about flying in a helicopter in Battlefield 3. It's a lot of fun, but it does take a while to get used to it, so keep on practicing. If you're new around here and you enjoyed the video, you can click on that yellow button and subscribe to me. Also, two videos you may have missed. On the left, some Dead Ranger Spy on Mountain Lab, and on the right, some Huntsman Sniper on Egypt. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.